Good day, XCOM Enemy Unknown fans. This is Delta Angelfire here, bringing you another XCOM multiplayer match. Today's match is going to be between myself, Delta, currently ranked at 68th on the North American ladder, and this video will be from my point of view. And our opponent is going to be Razor13, currently ranked 29th on the North American ladder. I'm currently running my 9800 point twin stim gunner build. My opponent, Razor, is going to be running a 9750 point mixed unit composition, and we are going to be duking it out on the bar map. Now, because my opponent had a lower squad point total, he does get the positional advantage of going first. However, this isn't going to deter me from having my sectoids dash around trying to find whatever they can find, and also checking out the roof just to see if he managed to get up there somehow. And I do find out that he did manage to, and that is a significant point investment right there. A 3,750 point heavy floater means that there is only 6,000 points floating around in the rest of his unit composition. So I already know where a significant portion of his power is, and it's not something that is too concerning to me. Because even though floaters have the ability to fly and have a relatively high hit point total, they don't have a lot of damage output, and their HP total is not high enough to withstand a good assault from one of my gunners. Now, you can't hear it on the video, but in-game there was just a grappling sound. So... What that means is there's probably another soldier up on the roof now, a human soldier with either a ghost suit or a skeleton suit, which also represents a pretty significant point investment. So now I'm figuring there's about mm, 6,000 points worth of units on the roof, which means that now that I know where a good portion of the enemy squad is, I'm going to get myself into position, stim up, and get ready to take them out. I leave my sectoid on the ground to monitor the first floor to see if where that remaining 4,000 points is probably going to be, and I start seeing some of his support units. You see a sectoid here running in, taking his shots and spotting for another unit that you will see in a moment. And that is going to be the light plasma wielding soldier, which is going to take out my sectoid right there. Now, I don't have line of sight on him anymore, but seeing that he was a light plasma wielder, it is probably safe to assume that that was either a smoke jumper or a medic. And that's going to be another one or two thousand points, at least, of my opponent. Combine that with some of the other sectoids, I know pretty much what my opponent is doing. Now when I walk up onto the roof, I find exactly what I wanted to find. An alloy cannon soldier, which means a significant point investment there. And the heavy floater, I see that I have a 0% chance to crit the soldier, so I take out the heavy floater instead. And instead of bringing my second assault up onto the roof, I leave him down on the first floor to take out whatever the medic support was doing. From now on, we can see that Pretty much, I think the only significant unit that is left is going to be that assault gunner. Uh, we have three sectoids running around on the ground, which isn't going to be able to hurt my assault unit under his effects of his stim pack very well. Which means the only thing left to do is take out the gunner on top. Hopefully her stim will run out, which we'll see in just a moment. Get my sectoid in position to clean up anything that remains. And lo and behold, it has indeed. There's a bit of a, uh, there's a, bit of a cover bug here. But I do manage to take that out with a good chance to hit and manage to crit anyway. And with that, my opponent only has three sectoids left, being as I took out two of his soldiers and his heavy floater. And that means it's pretty much going to be GG. You see the sectoids here trying to gang up on my soldier, but they really, in the end, there's not much they can do. Alright, thanks for watching guys. This has been another XCOM multiplayer match. And I hope to see you next mission.